plug your YouTube you. channel. And I will be posting these on my YouTube, uh, my YouTube, my YouTube, my YouTube channel. Um, I don't remember what it is. WD Turner. West Turner. West Turner. Okay. Subscribe. Subscribe. Hit the hit, hit the subscribe button or hit the uh, hit the notification bell. Well, do both. Both of do, these things are necessary. Do them both. Exactly. Um, it's actually is you know we try to keep it up to date, so it should be a pretty good reference as you're trying to go through it and study for the tests and things like that. We cover a lot of material. Um, we try to go beyond the material on the slides because you guys can all read. You know, there's no reason for us just to go over uh, just the stuff on the slide. It's trying to to give you more insight. All right. Yeah. So, um, Professor, for exercise one, mm -hmm. I'm submitting it on submittee, and it's saying that the difference in white space characters is that I have a black arrow and a white arrow when they just have a white arrow, and I don't know what that means. Okay, so that's not the error. That's the slash n slash r thing or the slash r slash n thing. So that 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 isn't actually an error. Um, that that shouldn't that shouldn't trip. Um, let me go to submittee for a second. I wrote a Python program using the write tools from this that writes to a text file the exact new line string as in, as somebody wants, and it still rejects it. I can share my screen in the program if you'd like. I don't want to see the program on the on the thing. If you want to come to office hours, we can we can discuss it there. But I don't want we don't want to broadcast the screen. Um, Fair enough. Right. Let me go to Submitty. Let's take a look. Ah, there we go. So this is what I'm getting. Oops. That's what we're getting too. Right, I'm getting all the points. Yes, you don't have the slash R's for some reason. Did you do a strip? No, wait, you... Uh, I. We're supposed to write this in a text file. Yep. If you need me, I can have people come over to my WebEx room and then I can check their code. Okay. To see that, if there's that, any differences. If you have time, Kristen, that would be great. Yeah, that's um, fine. All right. Um, but I mean, I you, you can't all come. Yeah. Hmm? I'm just saying, you know, this is, you know, this is the run on Submitty. There's no, you know, this is what I have and this is what. All right, this is my WebEx room. Whoever was just talking, you can join it really quick, and I'll try oh. to see what the difference is. But... Actually, Christian, I know what the problem is. They oh, did okay. it. Uh, I think I know. It would be good for you to check. I think the, the the slash R's are on their side, so they did it. They didn't do it in their. Uh, they didn't do it in their spider. Um, Some people said they did do it in spider, and they were still having okay. issues because I already recommended that to them. Okay, so they they're they're having a yeah they're creating a they're creating it on their end with the slash R's. Um, and that's why they're having problems. Did you do it in Spider and save it as a text file? Is that how you submitted it? I think it was Liam who was talking. Yes, and Dimitri substantiates and Olivia. Yes. Yeah, 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 I know. You guys we were talking earlier. So all of you did it in Spider and you saved it as a text file? Yes. Uh, again, okay. I can share my screen, and I'm sure any of the other students can as well. Okay. So you did it in Spider. You saved it as a text file, and you're still getting the weird slash R's. They're getting yeah. They're um, getting a word slash R in theirs. So they're they're, they're saving it as a as a. Uh, why is it doing that? Yeah, because I, I I told them all that they should do it in Spider and save it, but yeah. it shouldn't be still. Once you've done it, though, once once you've created the file, you have to start over again. You you, you got to get rid of the file and do it again. Um, yeah. How about you guys could try like 
professor said, copying it over into a new file and saving it. Make sure you don't like accidentally enter another line or anything, but I need to, I can check people. That's not, tell me. Yeah, if, if you, if, um, Is there anybody else with a question or is that the only question? I have a question, but it's like off topic. Here, if you guys need to be checked, just put like me in the chat and then I could call people into my room to check it. Yeah. Um. All right. This is my room. Okay. So what's, what's the off topic one? We, we'll have to come Actually, back to this one. Um, I have to do something for a, uh, I have to build something for a game design class. And mm -hmm. I was wondering if you know anything about QR codes in Python. No, like, I... how can I use them? I've never done that. I expect I that it's fine. probably out there. Um, so you want to decode them or, uh, um, we're making like a hybrid digital physical game and we want to have QR codes that you can scan with like a phone or an iPad. So you want to generate, made. you want to generate them. Yeah. I want to generate them. So PyPy looks like they have a QR code generator. Um, oh. so I haven't used it. I, I I've never you know, I've, I've never had to generate a QR code the way you're talking about, mm -hmm. um, but I don't see a reason. You know, PyPy is generally a very high quality um, standard, um, you know, extensions to, to Python. Um, I would probably try. Um, so, so this, by the way, uses Pillow, which is our image thing, right? That That's what you yeah. already installed. Uh, what I would probably do is I would probably try before I did pip install QR code, I would probably try conda install QR code. And then if that okay. doesn't work, then use pip. Okay. Okay. And um, I had another thing. Is there like a, is there like a tutoring system set up for CS specifically? Uh, yeah. So our office hours are, are tutoring, right? I mean, that's, okay. that's essentially, you know, we, we, you know, we have a lot of those, so please take advantage of those. Um, yeah. Right. They're all here. Um, but then ALAC also has hours. Um, so if you go to, uh, and you're not seeing what I'm doing right now. Okay. So this is, you know, these are our office hours. There's a lot of office hours, you know, please take advantage uh -huh. of them. Um, and then if you go to ALAC, um, RPI, ALAC. Oh, okay. They also have uh, tutoring. Oops. Right. So these these are the hours for for uh, computer science. Um, right. So they have drop in yeah. tutoring. Then you can also contact them if you need if you need additional help. Um, by the okay. way, I know most of these people. They're they're pretty good. Uh, and then the other thing you can do is that I know that if if you look at our at our um, at our uh, discussion forum. I think it's in the FAC, uh, the, the, the thread 12 or 25 or something like that. If you, if you, uh, yeah, that if makes you, sense. If you search just for the facts, we don't have a lot of things that are FAQs. Um, there's actually, uh, tutoring support from UPE. Now that's paid tutoring. So, uh, UPE is the, is the computer science honor society. Um, and they offer tutoring as well. But again, that's, that's a paid option. Okay. Thanks. Okay. You're welcome. Have a good evening. All right. Same to you. Enjoy your day. Next one before I dive into this uh, slash r slash n thing. What's up? Yeah. All right, go ahead. You can go ahead. Okay. Uh, quick question regarding formatting for grade inquiries. I uh, got knocked pretty darn hard on my last grade inquiry, and um, I'm writing a inquiry, and I'm trying to cite a portion of my code within the inquiry, but when I use the code in insert a code segment here it doesn't actually do anything at all hmm 
Um, so I just typed it out manually, and I'm wondering if that's okay. Yeah, that's fine. You know, in general, if you if you explain it well enough, you know, what what we'll do is we'll go back and we'll re, we'll regrade it. Um, mm -hmm. You know, so you know any any way of indicating it is fine. Um, the thing that that we need to be careful of is you know we graded everybody to the same rubric, so you know it, it's it's you know we have to be we have to be careful that. You know, a lot of times, if you know, if you think you've been graded hard, everybody's been graded hard on that one. So, well, it's know. not necessarily a grading hard. It's just I got five points off for something that I have in there that is okay. correct that it says I didn't that's, have in there. So that's actually that's great. I mean, that's what we're looking for. You know, those yeah. are the, the the things that we really do want to fix. And I, I I just wanted to warn you, if, you know, if, if it's, oh no, I I understand. Yeah. I mean, it's not frivolous. I see an error. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. no, that's good. That, that's we really do actually we appreciate when you guys come back to us with that because we we. We try very hard, but there's a lot of you. Yeah, there's a lot of feelings. I mean, there's 700 of us. One of yeah. us, you know, yeah, so. something's going to happen. There's an allowance for this sort of thing. Yeah, but we, we do want to correct them, so please get it get it to us. And as long as it's legible or readable or, you, you know, you tell us what's going on, we're happy to, you know, we will take another look at it. It doesn't have to be a precise, pristine format. All right, great. Thank okay. you very much. You're welcome. Have a nice evening. Same to you. Thank you. Hello. Who's next then? Right. How you doing? Uh, yeah, uh, so I had a question on a uh, homework three that I uh, ha had a, I had the question before it was uh, due, and I asked my mentor, and he didn't get back to me until afterwards, and he actually said he referred me to my TA, so I sent them an email, and they actually still haven't gotten back to me, um, and I, I sent it to my lab TA. Is is that the uh, you know TA I should be sending it to regarding homework? Because I know different TAs grade different homeworks, so. So this was a grading a grade inquiry thing. Yeah. Did you did you try using the the grade inquiry submission? Because that'll uh, go no. that'll go to whomever graded it. Um, okay. So uh, the the right thing to do is assuming that it's still open, um, is to use the grade inquiry there. Uh, if not, then then please uh, send it to CS one instructors. We'll take a look. Okay. Okay. Very good. Um, yeah. It's you know generally, if you use the tools in Submitty, you're you're more likely to get help faster than if you if you do something else just because we're hammering on everybody to to uh you know we, we can see we can see when somebody hasn't done a hasn't answered a great inquiry on somebody i can't see when they haven't answered your email so right. you know it just, it just helps us to, to help you okay. no problem okay. thank you very much. you're welcome right. thank you for coming. all right bye hello what's up anybody All right. Um, so, <sighs> just for anybody who's listening, I hate Windows line endings. We have more problems in this course because of Windows line endings than with any other single thing. Um, it's awful. And it has no bearing on you guys. Christian, are you there? Okay, so uh, for any of you still listening who may have problems with your line endings, go to the editor, go to the advanced settings, go to end of line characters. And do not pick carriage return line feed. Just pick line feed on save. All right, on save, convert end of line characters to line feed. Fix automatically and show warning box. Please do that. That is good. That will make life easier for me.
Uh, Professor, we can't see the uh, settings. Ah. When damn it, <laughs> darn it! You guys, you should you should get better vision. Go see your doctors. No, um, I'm getting it. Sorry. Oh, I can say that to my wife. She needs reading glasses, or she can't read anything. Okay, there we go. Um, so if you go if you go to the uh, if you go to the preferences, right? It's under tools. Let me cancel. I'm going to apply that because. Okay, if you go to tools, and that comes down well below, and you hit preferences, you guys probably couldn't see that because it was on a different screen. Um, but this will pop up. It'll look like this. Come on. This is hard because I'm I'm seeing two cursors, and <laughs> there we go. Figuring out which ones. Okay. You go to advanced settings, you scroll all the way to the bottom, and you do end of line characters. Fix automatically and show warning message box. I don't really care about the warning message box. You want fix automatically. And then on save, convert EOL characters to line feed Unix. Okay, that should get rid of your problems. You guys can't see that again, can you? I have it auto. As soon as I click on something in... Uh, there we go. Right, so... As long as I stay in preferences, we're good. Go over to advanced settings, editor, advanced settings, scroll all the way to the bottom and, and click those two on. All right, I'm going to uh, stop here unless there's more questions because I want to get over into Kristen's room and tell her how to fix the problem. Um, so anything else? Professor, I'm here. I had the student come back because I couldn't figure out oh. what the issue was. So you would, what you're telling me is that coming to see you would be completely useless. Yes. Okay. Uh, I yes, won't do that. Hopefully work because I had them like type it out in Spider. It was still giving the same issue. So. Yeah. Um, you know, this has been, so I've, I read about this in the archives. I'm not this old. But this has been a problem since the early 80s, at least. Um, probably before that. Uh, but my archives only go back to the early 80s. <laughs> so maybe I am that old. Um, yeah, so this has been a problem for 30 years, 40 years. Um, and we still have it. And I'm pretty much done with it. I've had it, I've had it long enough. Uh, but this, this should help out. And I don't know why that got toggled. I, maybe it's, maybe the default changed. The default used to be Unix. We may have to add another line to the install file. I left the main room because uh, Kristen said she'd be coming around to our rooms. Is there something I missed? I just came back now. Um, yeah, I'm gonna add a submitty discussion forum post about this in case anyone has any issues with it, but. Kristen, um, can, can you, uh, yeah. you, can, you can't edit the, you can't edit the fact posting, can you? I cannot. Okay, if, if you uh, if you send me if you, when you get it done, uh, drop a link in the in the Slack, and I mm -hmm. will I will update the fact to point to it. You want me to just type it out and then give you what I typed out, so you can put it in the FAQ, or do you want me to post on the discussion forum? No, put put, put it in the discussion forum, and then I'll I'll add I'll add a link in the in the fact. Okay. Okay. Much appreciated. Thank you. No problem. Okay, so here's how here's what you need to do, right? So you come into tools and you click preferences. And it's showing up off my uh, off my screen, but I'm going to click on preferences and then I'm going to show you the rest, okay? So tools preferences takes a minute to come up. Okay, so this is what the preferences look like. Click on Editor. Click on Advanced Settings. Scroll all the way to the bottom and click both of these and make sure that this says Line Feed Unix. And that should fix it for you. And I don't know why the... the I don't know why the... Uh, the default got changed on uh, 
on either your system or on uh, Spider as a whole. I'm not sure where which one is giving us the issue. It did not fix it. So you, so you already submitted it to Submitty and it's it's not fixed. Well, at this point, I've submitted it about twelve times. So, well, you did this. You, you did you did this, and it didn't fix it. Uh, yes, that's correct. What I have is, I have a program that writes that takes the string that's the complete file with all the new lines, and I just write to a text file. And okay. I put the text file into Submitty. Right. So don't do that. Type it in, and then you'll be okay. Just type it in. Just type it in. That, should be. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that's uh, if if the if the new lines are being are being changed, that should be it. Now I, I can look at how to do it for uh, the 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 runtime, but I did it for the editor. This you know this wasn't for the this wasn't for the runtime. This was for the editor. Got it. Right, so I'm just going to mute myself and try it the other way, and we'll see if that works. Okay. I mean, it's possible that this won't work either, because I haven't actually run into this problem. I actually, I, I did mine in, in this, and it didn't, or actually maybe I did mine in VI. I don't even know. fixed <clears throat> all right excellent so yeah so it's like i said i've been having these issues since the 80s and now they're coming back to haunt us all again because exactly. we can't have nice things <clears throat> that's exactly all right so thank, thank you for everything professor turner you're I apologize welcome for the sorry about yeah no I, I i was going the other way i was thinking that you were saying that the expected output had them it's like well but it doesn't i know it doesn't because my my stuff worked um, no, that's good. I'm glad we got it worked out, and and hopefully this will be the end of it. Okay, thanks. All right, anybody else? Otherwise, I'm shutting down. Thanks, Kristen, again for your uh, for your help today. No problem. I sent you the link in Slack to the discussion forum post. All right, awesome. I'll get to that as quickly as I can, but probably not immediately. <laughs> Thanks. And we'll see you all later.